Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner being reported to the FBI allegedly by Mr. David Levinson. Now, based on what I'm understanding, even though Kim and Chris has been reported to the FBI by David Levinson, he's not the only one because allegedly Kim and Chris have been screwing over a lot of people out of their businesses for the past number of years. Now, the story that has taken us here is called Kim Kardashian Ruins My Life by Mr. David Levinson, the owner of Sensogram. If you notice, Sensogram sounds quite similar to Instagram. Sensogram is owned by David Levinson and his friend. Kim Kardashian was pitched a deal by Mr. David Levinson and he showed her mock-ups of everything that Kim now has, has the emoji or Kimoji rather. Now, Kimoji was allegedly created by David Levinson. Everything surrounding by the Kimoji app was created by David. David was in communication with Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, and Kim's friend, Jonathan. David has provided a number of receipts confirming this. Also, recorded conversations between him and Kim, wherein Kim told David openly that she is very much interested in, you know, becoming a partner with him or going into business with him. Because Kim, as we know, is a heavy Instagram user. And Kim was looking for an app that could filter comments so has to give her the clout, the status, and the attention that she has always craved for on Instagram. So you can say that Kim only wanted good comments in her comment section. I mean, why not? If you're trying to be the best thing, the most admired, the most praised, the most popular, the most loved, that is the direction that you would go in automatically. And we already know Kim Kardashian craves attention. As Candace Owens often says, Kim Kardashian is probably the most desperate attention-seeking woman in America. And the reality is, that is definitely no lie, and that is based on qualities that Kim has demonstrated and consistently portrayed over these years. So, we can understand why Kim would want to go into partnership with David Levinson having an application, the mastermind, the creativity to do something like that for Kim. So the business discussion started off with the Kimoji app. David showed Kim, Chris, their lawyers, mock-ups of Kimoji. They all fell in love. They all agreed. But when David left the office, David said he received a phone call. The phone call was asking David to confirm if he had the copyright or trademark license for what he has created so far. But David could not see the plan that they were cooking up to swindle him out of his business idea. And because he didn't see that, that is exactly what Kim and her mom, Kris Jenner, their lawyer, allegedly did to David. Now, David's business partner was bullied into signing over his share of Sensogram after David decided that he was going to challenge Kim in a legal battle after Kimoji was stolen from him and Kim was making millions daily using the very same application. David was advised by his lawyers to drop the case because it seemed as though Kim's legal team 
was passing money around, allegedly. So David, trusting his lawyer, dropped the case, only to be countersued by Kim and had to pay Kim Kardashian four million dollars, which he didn't have. So just imagine pitching your business deal to someone that you thought you could have trust, having numerous conversation, the person reassuring you that it's a good deal. They like it and we're going to go ahead on it, only for them to go ahead, leaving you behind, stealing everything that you have created based on Mr. Leibniz's allegations. Now, after being sued at $4 million, Mr. Leibniz, upon his advice of his lawyer, dropped the case, had to pay him $4 million, which left him homeless, living out of his car for a number of years, and also his wife left as well when things got rough. Since then, David has always thought about challenging the Kardashians, but didn't have the resource, the fight, the strength, or determination to do so at the time. However, what David noticed is that as time passed, Kim and Chris hasn't changed, and the streets were talking about their shady business deals. David took notes, he paid attention, and he realized that what many bloggers, content creators, business owners were saying about Kim was very synonymous to what he had experienced with Kim, Chris, and their powerful legal team many years ago. So David decided that being homeless, living out of his car, being pushed to his limit was the final limit for him. At this time, he intends to challenge Kim, Chris, and their powerful legal team, and since then has launched the site Kim Kardashian Ruined My Life, where he has provided evidence of his mock-ups, discussions, phone recordings with Kim, Chris, and their legal team. Many people caught on to David's story, tried to help him, interviewed him, during which Kim sent him a cease and desist. Now, the cease and desist allegedly came from a lawyer, but looking at it, you could tell it wasn't professional. And David have lost so much over the years, he had nothing to lose at this point. So he kept on going and through his persistence was offered a settlement. But David refused because the settlement was very insulting. But Kim's excuse is allegedly because the app was not performing as it used to. But you see, that's not David's problem because before now, Kim was making millions a day. So now that David is back and David is determined to get what is rightfully his and Kim is refusing to be honest to Mr. David Leibenson, David Leibenson has been marketing. He has been promoting himself. He has been telling his story. He has been urging many people to come forward with their stories. And in doing so, he has been able, based on what he's saying, to get people who Kim and Chris have scammed out of credit card partnership, business deals, and the list goes on. And David is now allegedly working with those people for them to submit all their evidence, all their reports on how Kim and Chris, their powerful attorney, have swindled them out of a business deal. So based on what David is saying, they don't know what the FBI will do. But there's one thing for sure, and that is Kim and Chris does not have the power to override the, investi the FBI investigation. So David Leibenson is letting us know now that documents, reports, several proofs, several evidence on Kim and Chris shady business deal from their past, screwing over multiple people 
has been reported to the FBI and the FBI is currently investigating. Now, if you want to learn more, see more, hear from David yourself, you can do so by following him on Instagram at David Leibenson and also on TikTok. But I do hope that justice is served to all parties involved in this matter. And I want to hear from you. Let me know what are your thoughts. Do you believe David? And let's get the discussion popping. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.